Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? Simple. With the Appalachian Advantage plan, pay less up front and then just a few dollars more every month. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Jeremy Just is joining us now. Jeremy, tell us a little bit about what's going on over toward Eastridge. Thanks, Chris. I spoke to David Ramey on the phone. He's a high school teacher over Eastridge, and he was explaining to me about a program that he has going on with the students currently. Students from Eastridge High School have not only been busy with their studies, but they have been packing up gifts and everyday necessities that we sometimes take for granted. Operation Care Package is an annual fundraiser by the Eastridge High School students to support our troops who are currently stationed stateside and overseas. You're an Eastridge High School teacher, and I know I spoke with you a few months ago and you were helping the students at Eastridge prepare some special gifts for our brave soldiers. Tell me about that. Every year, uh, the students at Eastridge, Prayer Warriors Organization, uh, Smile Club, and the general student population, along with teachers, and all the staff get together and gather up donated items, donate items themselves and donate money for shipping to Operation Care Package. Uh, these packages go overseas to soldiers in places like Qatar, Kuwait, um, Iraq, Jordan, uh, Afghanistan, and anywhere in the Middle East that our troops are stationed. We also ship packages stateside some of our troops who are away from their families over the holidays as well. To date, we have shipped 396 packages at a shipping total of over $7,000, and all this has come from local donations, teachers, students, families from this immediate area. Could you tell me a little bit about what's being sent? Because I know you said you're sending stuff overseas and then stateside, so I know there's certain things that you might be able to send, might not be able to. Uh, they welcome salty snacks, uh, any kind of personal hygiene items that are in small containers, uh, especially hand sanitizer and those kinds of things overseas. And to the, uh, the military people back home, most of those are actually our former students. I think Eastridge has probably put more students in the military over the past few years than than any school that I know of, and I don't want to get any feedback from that. But we, our kids are so proud to serve this country. We even have a captain in the Marine Corps that's a, an alumnus from Eastridge High School who graduated from the academy in Annapolis. Can you tell me, too, this last round of how many packages you probably sent out? Uh, this last round of packages included 40 care packages. Uh, most of those, as I mentioned a minute ago, Qatar and Kuwait, several of those went to those two places. And we actually have uh, male and female military personnel, so, so the kids sent care packages to, uh, to both male and female personnel, uh, military personnel. Tell me, what does a soldier mean to you? Soldiers are people who allow me to uh, go to worship uh, in a building with a sign over the door, and I don't have to be afraid that uh, that the government or uh, anybody is going to break in and take that right away from me. Um, I can carry firearms. I can go and fish and hunt and enjoy the public property in this nation. I can... Uh, say what comes to mind. I can make thoughtful statements and I don't have to worry about feedback from the government because they're defending my freedoms. Those guys and, and gals are precious. They are a commodity that this country uh, just cannot do without. How proud are you of your daughter for participating in this program all these years? I cannot say enough about how uh, self-sacrificial my daughter is. She throws in every year. She encourages her classmates to donate. Uh, this is her fourth year, her senior year, and my son was, uh, was a participant in this. He went to school here for four years, and he did that too, and she actually came up while he was in high school and helped box, uh, helped box items and, and set, select packages and this is probably her last year doing that and I'm really proud of both of my kids and my wife 
has come by on a few occasions and, and directed traffic and help officers. So, uh, you know, we're a, we're a family and we're a warrior family and we're very close knit. What do you want to say to your students who have put their time and effort into preparing these packages? Absolutely take the attention off me. You know, I, if I'm anything, I'm no more than just a spokesperson. I'm just a mouthpiece. The kids are the ones that do all the work. If, if you congratulate anybody for any of this Operation Care Package, congratulate the students and the, the other members of the faculty and everybody that donates and puts their time and money and items in on this. I cannot be more proud of these kids every year. And while I will say that I really do appreciate what you all do, and it's it's such an inspiration, especially to kids that are coming up there that might be you know the future freshmen, future seniors. So I feel like what you all do is you're creating role models and opportunities for these kids to grow, and I really do appreciate your time today. Thank you. I appreciate the, the coverage, and hopefully uh, this will get us maybe some more exposure next year and some more donations. And again, uh, the emphasis is not on me. I use the floor of my classroom, and that's my total input to the entire project. The kids 